In this video, I'm gonna explain you how I turned $50 into $8,000 in less than 60 days. And I did not do it with trading. By the end of the video, I will give you a way how you can replicate this, but in a different way than I did it because the way that I did it is more or less dead or really complicated. So it does not work anymore. When I was getting into crypto, I had a roommate in my apartment in Germany that was studying with me, uh, with me together, uh, civil engineering. He told me that he actually will never go and work in this job after he finished his studies. I just finished my studies while I was living with him and started to work in a company and was wondering why he's saying that. So he said to me, he's making more money from his phone being at home than being at a job. So why should he go and get a job? Then I asked him, what was the whole point for you to study, to become an engineer, if you are making so much money from your phone and you never intend to work in this job and you just keep making money from your phone? He said, because I just discovered this in the last five months. And that made then of course sense to me. What are you actually doing on your phone? He said, I'm exchanging different currencies. I was like, okay, that sounds interesting. What kind of currencies? And he told me, yeah, it's like perfect money. It's you cash, it's uh, pay safe cards, uh, Litecoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. And when I heard Bitcoin, that I tried mining Bitcoin twice in the last five years at the time, and it did not work for me. And I said, Bitcoin? Go and off with that shit. You know, it did not work for me at all. And he said, what did not work for you? So I explained to him that I tried to set up a wallet, that I tried to mine it, and both did not work. He said, okay, give me your iPhone. I will show you uh, how to get a wallet. It will take two minutes. And I did not believe him. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's okay. He has my phone. Two minutes later, I had actually a wallet. Everything was set up. I had the private keys. I set the private keys up, not him. And then I asked him if he can give me the website that he's working on. And he said, no, he knew that I would put him all out of business. He was not really um, hungry to make a lot of money on that website. He was making a couple hundred dollars up to a thousand dollars a day. And he was happy with that, but I wanted more. So, and he knew that, that I would be relentless on this website and take any deal that I can get for exchanging. That's why he never shared his website with me. So I had to find a way with my Bitcoin wallet to make my own money. I researched a little bit and here you were going to understand why this is not so easy anymore than in the past. I researched a little bit how I can provide an exchange service for other people in crypto. Because at the time there was no Binance, there was no Kraken, there was Bitstamp, Coinbase and Bitfinex. I think that was the three big exchanges that were around at the time. And while I was researching, I wanted to provide services to German clients and preferably to settle this in cash because that was the most easiest way for me to do that without attracting too much attention from the German government and actually set up a proper company where I did not have the money for at the time. So I wanted first to generate some money, then set up the company and then continue that business. I was looking through different chat rooms and boards on the internet where people were just talking about cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin, where I actually were able to provide an exchange service to people that wanted to buy Bitcoin and were looking for a way to buy Bitcoin because at the time it was still hard to get your hands on Bitcoin. So what I did was I sent money to company in the Netherlands that were selling Bitcoins after they got the money from my bank account, sending me the Bitcoins over to my Bitcoin address. And I was sell reselling these Bitcoins to people on these boards. They paid me with rechargeable vouchers for prepaid credit cards. These credit cards did not have for a long time KYC. So I could buy as many cards I wanted, uh, recharge them with like three, four hundred dollars, go to an ETM, withdraw the money and then rinse and repeat. And that's basically what, what I did. Of course, I sold the Bitcoin at a way higher price than what I bought them for. And that's how I actually made all my money. I charged 10 to 20% of a markup as commission on every single transaction that I was making. It depended on how much they wanted to buy. I bought $50. I compounded it over 60 days with the profits of my clients. And that ended up to be 8,000 and a couple dollars after 60 days. When I talk about credit card vouchers with prepaid cards, you understand the way that I was doing that is today not possible anymore. I had over a hundred prepaid debit cards 
when I stopped. But when it stopped working for me because of KYC and a lot of anti-money laundering uh, stuff that was imposed on the card provider, it got too complicated to get the money out. I lost actually a lot of money on the cards and that's why I, I stopped this. Otherwise, I would still potentially do it today. I might have never stopped with it because it was good money at the time. Uh, but it is not so easy anymore as I was doing it. And there's also a lot of competition in the space now with where you can directly trade P2P, wallet to wallet, or where you just sign up on Binance and you transfer the money yourself into the Binance bank account and stuff like that, which was just not present at the time when I started started doing this. So it was a short-lived window opportunity that I saw that I seized at the moment and that window basically closed um, two years later more or less. Maybe in some country it still works but in the countries that I were, uh, were living at the time it was not possible anymore. I did this out of Germany. Uh, I got my pre prepaid cards out of Germany and I was then handling the business in Paris where I basically went every night to the ATM and withdraw all, all the money, put it into my bank account, send it again to the Netherlands and repeat the whole process. So but now how you can do something similar what I did from $50 to $8,000 in potentially 60 days. Easy the easiest way to do it right now with such a low investment is hunting airdrops and retro drops. And I will leave you here in the description below an Excel sheet where you will find projects that are still eligible for airdrops, where you are not too late for the snapshot to be eligible to receive an airdrop. And I promise you, you don't need to invest more than $50 to be eligible. Don't expect thousands of dollars for doing small tasks, but you will get a couple hundred dollars from each project and this you can then reinvest into the next airdrops that you are hunting. That will then end up uh, to be then quite a substantial amount if you keep doing that for a couple of weeks, potentially even months. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more videos like that. Don't forget to smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'm going to see you in the next one.